I think, look, there have been a number of achievements. I think, number one, increasing our visitor numbers year on year, every year during my tenure has been something that uh, I've been happy to work with all of the agencies and industry on, and also as well to see revenues rising uh, consistently. Now, I think one of the key challenges is to ensure that the, you know, the slight fallback that we saw in revenues in 2019 is addressed in 2020. We see that growing further. Also, what we're spending in terms of our overseas marketing has increased significantly over the last number of years, what we're spending in terms of product development here in the country, uh, and that's important, but we need to do more. Uh, we need to roll out more tourism infrastructure, more greenways. You know, we need to be able to equip our country now to deal even more uh, with the increased numbers that we're receiving so that everybody has an enhanced and a really positive experience. And also into the future then as well, you know, building on our experienced brands, the Wild Atlantic Way, Ireland's Ancient East, uh, the hidden heartlands across the whole island of course then as well working with our colleagues in northern ireland as well and one of the things that i'm most optimistic about is that there is now an administration in place again in northern ireland and i look forward at some stage hopefully uh, to meeting with my northern counterpart for the first time uh, and again we know there was a political vacuum there for a number of years uh, that's now passed and uh, hopefully that will lead to enhanced cooperation on north south uh, basis as well into the future. Uh, what sort of the, things would you like to see cooperation on? What I sort think of things would you like? There are loads of things. On? Yeah, so there's loads of ideas. I mean, for example, um, a literary trail is an area that we've been looking at there now recently. Uh, I was up at the Heaney home place um, before Christmas. You know, I think there are things like that that we can really have really strong synergies on between where we are here in Dublin throughout uh, other parts of Ireland and of course in Northern Ireland as well um, also as well you know looking at the Wild Atlantic Way and the Causeway Coast I think there can be stronger connection there uh, there are lots of other things as well I mean in terms of golf tourism uh, we have um, you know we have so much there that we can offer on an all island basis uh, lots of other things and of course there are still challenges as well related to Brexit and the post-Brexit era and yesterday we saw you know for example issues that may arise in relation to labour shortages and in other issues like that uh, immigration related issues that could adversely affect Northern Ireland and this country as well so you know these are all things that I think a strong cooperation between uh, political representatives on the island of Ireland is, is important. To have. Your family background and your home county mean you were quite knowledgeable uh, very knowledgeable about tourism when you arrived in the job what surprised you most when you came to dealing with it as minister when you Kid to doing it at a um, macro level. I wouldn't say there was anything that I was surprised by. I mean, I think I was probably, I would say I was pleasantly surprised just by how many really fantastic people I've met in the industry. Um, it's a cliche, I know, but actually, genuinely, it's been a huge pleasure working with people in the industry at every level uh, and also the outstanding people in the agencies as well here in Tourism Ireland and in Fault Ireland and our colleagues in, in Tourism Northern Ireland as well have been really brilliant to work with and uh, obviously as well in the UK you know I've worked with a lot of uh, people based there in the context of Brexit and the challenges that uh, Brexit has presented and still will present in relation to the Brexit task force that, that um, was a really, really uh, interesting experience and uh, that was a really effective body as well to be part of. So um, overall, the experience has been hugely positive and again, look forward to working with um, everybody into the future in whatever position that I'll be in. Um, and again, it's all about the future and it's all about uh, our communities and the hugely positive benefits that are derived from a strong tourism industry. Thank you very much, Brenda Griffin. Thank you.